What's going on guys? SS Man of Team Eternal. And uh, so what's up? You don't like your, your new Ubuntu on your phone, huh? Well, you can't use it. You can't get data to work. What, what's the issue? You just don't want it. You want to go back to Android, right? All right, here's how it goes. First thing you want to do, download the recovery you had on your phone, whatever you want to use. I use Team One Recovery. So what you're going to do is you're going to download it onto your computer. If you're in Linux, place it in your home folder, okay, and rename it recovery.img for image. Uh, if you're in Windows, uh, do the same thing, just put it in your ADB folder, that way you can push it to your phone. But then you hook up your phone and you can't get in the fast food because ADB commands do not work on Ubuntu. You plug in your phone, no device is found. How, what, you, what do you do now? Here's what you're going to do. Hold your power button until the phone powers off. Now you can't see the phone powering off, it's still on right now. Wait like a good, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. Just give it a while. Do that. Okay, let's say, I guess I'm hoping it's done. Hold volume down, hold the power, and we're gonna go into fast boot. See? So what you're gonna do here, you're going to leave it just like this, right in this menu here. You're going to plug in your phone with the uh, cable of your choice, like so. You're gonna open up terminal. Open up ADB, whatever you have. Okay? And what you're gonna type in is fastboot flash recovery. Then type recovery again. But this time put dot IMG at the end. That's for the file you just downloaded. Now when you download it, it comes in like you know the file name, the date, and so on. I just put recovery.img because it's easy to type and it just makes it a lot easier to flash stuff. Go ahead and do that, hit enter, it's in recovery, it's done. So what you're going to do now, go to your phone, you're going to go recovery mode, hit your power to go into that, wait for the phone to start, and uh, <coughs> you're back in recovery. This step is only required if you use the Ubuntu guide to install this on your phone. If you actually went to command prompt, I'm sorry, in terminal and did all the commands and downloaded the software for you. If you downloaded the files and installed them via recovery, you don't got to do this step. You already you already have recovery installed. So, being that um, when I first did this, I thought maybe it wiped the phone data completely. It doesn't, thank God. So the storage is still there. So now all you have to do is hit restore. Find the backup you made, which in my case was the PA 3.02. And then just let it do its thing. It's going to restore your phone. You reboot. And all back to normal. Alright, so restore is complete. Hit reboot system. Let your phone reboot. Give it a few seconds here. Oh, and there you go. There's your little Android boot screen coming back up. Let it boot back into Android. Make sure everything works. If it doesn't, do a fresh install. Uh, but chances are it works just fine. It's probably going to say upgrade and ask because you had to wipe your cache, but if it doesn't say that, then okay, cool, whatever. But it should say that. And don't say it, alright. So yeah, there you go. I am back into my Android, just like it was when I before I went. So there you go. You're back in Android, you can relax, your phone ain't broken, you can put it back in your little wireless charger there. Let it do its thing and relax. This is X's Magical with Team Nocturnal. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, uh, post them on the forums. I don't care. Post them here, whatever. If you want a quick response, though, go on the forums. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching.